Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some more ridiculous eating and out of control scenes from my 600 pound life. This episode is a little bit different because we have a couple who are both over 600 pounds and enabling each other. This compilation was made by a channel called Plot Twist. A link to their original video is below. Please be sure to check it out and give them a subscription. They make a lot of great my 600 pound life content. Did you know I have a second channel where I release content that is not related to fat acceptance? It's called Cynical Reacts. Be sure to go subscribe over there and check out the three videos that I've released so far. Here's a link. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. After I'm done helping VNA and she's dressed, we can finally eat and I start cooking the second I can. Ah, right, here we go, sitting at the stove, classic. What do we got here? A garbage can behind you, a tub with a plastic bag, and various other items on the counter. Because both of us been waiting to eat since we woke up. You've both been waiting to eat until you woke up? How long ago was that? Dude, I've been starving for something to eat ever since we woke up. Uh, that was like five seconds ago, so, uh... With food addiction, and it brings out the worst in each other's appetites. And when me and VNA are eating, it's like we're in this cocoon where we are safe. And it's like we're in this cocoon where we're safe. Why is he speaking so slowly? And there's nothing we can hurt us. And for that short while, all the pain in our lives is gone. Oh, the classic. For that little while while we're eating, all the pain in our life goes away. From those eggs? I've never had eggs that made all my problems just float away before. Those are some good eggs. Did he add cream to those? For that short while, all the pain in our lives is gone. That's what food has done for me. I'm covering it up where I'm at on the screen probably right now, but there's a gigantic plate of bacon down on the bottom right. That's got to be like three packages of bacon, dude. That is not one package of bacon. That is not one pound of bacon. That is at least two or three pounds of bacon. And up on the top right is a stack of pancakes that is taller than the pan that it's sitting next to. It's taller than that serving bowl that it's sitting next to. Since I was really young, it's been... Oh, there's more bacon you're putting on the stack. Oh my goodness. Saving me my whole life. Dude, that was like a whole pig. Well, maybe nothing emotional could hurt you in that cocoon, but it's clear that it's physically destroying the both of you. No, he's fine. My life started out difficult. My mom was 17 when she had me, and my father wasn't part of my life because he never stayed around. So, aside from my brother, who's one year younger than me. Is this guy like Cajun or something? He sounds like he's from the bayou or something. I don't know. My pappy would never around, so I just turned to food. Sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody's accent or if you are from there. I was on my own a lot because my mom had a lot of work. Oh boy. It you were on your own a lot because your mom had to work. So now as a grown ass man, you're eating a lot. Like I've said a bunch of times before, I feel like once you become cognizant of why you're doing what you're doing, that you now have the power to change. Like the moment you say, I am doing this because my mother was never there. You have the power to change. It's always something seeing it all laid out on a plate like that. It's almost intimidating. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can the money. Here's the money. Of course, breakfast. She's all handing the money off to him like it's a drug deal. She's like, here's the money. Keep it down, man. Breakfast is just one meal, so let's see what they get for delivery. Alan is the first person that I've actually been able to have any type of meal with. I've oh, so normally you conceal the way that you eat in front of other people. That's interesting. I like how this person is honest. She's like, Alan is the only person that I can eat in front of. That's the cool thing about my 600 pound life. They're always so honest. It's never like the systemic this or the yada, yada, yada. It's always like, yo, I have a serious problem here. I feel like there's no judgment. We give each other this freedom to eat what we want. So we're- Oh my goodness, dude. Did you see how, hold on. Watch right here how her hands go up like this, like in glee. Eat what we want. Right there, right there. She lifts her hand like, yes. She's all like, yes, we did it. Like like her team won or something. We don't right about eat what we want. here. Oh. So we're both just, oh! just eating and being happy together. And when I'm eating, I can forget about my life. It's messed up when you're with somebody that also does the same substance that you do, because this is what's going to happen. You guys are going to enable each other 
into an early grave. I would say it's probably better to be with somebody who doesn't use the same substance as you, right? Because you guys are going to go off the rails together and just keep enabling each other. And you're like, I don't feel self-conscious at all. And you just start eating all this crazy stuff that normally you would feel too embarrassed to eat. And he's like, I'm so comfortable around her. I don't even mind eating two pizzas right to my face. This is not good. You guys are not good for each other. What are they eating? What is this like? Chinese food or something? Let's see, on the right there we have some sort of deep fried something. Miserable it is. Yikes. Two full Tupperwares loaded to the brim for both Viani and Alan. Loaded to the brim. Now I'm pretty sure each Tupperware is supposed to feed one person. So they're basically getting enough for two people right now on top of that massive breakfast. My mom was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver. Oh, we're having a big old plate of spaghetti. I told you, I told you guys. They could Spaghetti's the devil, get it out of here. Didn't do anything for her. I think my mom was an alcoholic and I just didn't understand as a kid because her liver was completely destroyed. I was 15 then. Okay. So you each have your own little Walmart fold out table there that you're eating on in front of your air conditioner that is undoubtedly just pumping at full blast 24 seven. I'm not trying to be mean, but I was a little larger myself and I was always hot. So these two have to be sweating like a priest on a playground 24 seven. I'm sorry about that joke. Too far, too far, the priest on a playground. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was good though, it was pretty good. You thought it was funny, don't lie. And close to 400 pounds. Okay, so your mom was also large. She was an alcoholic and she made it to 400 pounds. Oh my goodness. And she was so... All right, that story ends abruptly. Now we're going to take a look at the next clip. Tammy's me the hamburger and the cheese out of the fridge. Uh, I think Tammy's son? Is her name Tammy, but spelled with one M? I would pronounce that Tammy. Like, she's very tame. Sorry, it's the little things for me. I think it's in the bottom. What the hell? Tammy, get in here! We got some wild animals in here. We need to tame them. That's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. Help of her son, Zachary, Tammy Lynn. You're the tamest person I know. Get in here. And gets to work making dinner. I feel guilty. I feel bad because this is not how things are supposed to be. What do you mean? So far, it looks like this. Okay, so you're sitting down to cook. I swear, dude. I swear, dude. Every one of these people sits down to cook. I don't know why that's so weird to me, but it is because they all do it. And I've never ever seen people sit down to cook before, but every single person on this show does it. It's interesting when people get to the point where they're like unwilling to burn a single calorie. The one thing that could help you, like standing up and burning a couple calories while you're cooking the meal, you're not doing. I don't like all these dishes and stuff piled up all around the sink. There's going to be some type of ground beef and cheese mix. Definitely not healthy. The old ground beef and cheese casserole. And then what do we got here? But not uh, some the worst thing sort of buns in the world either. Since some hot cross buns. Tammy's lived with me. Her eating. What the heck was that? A big old hash browns? What is that that she's putting on the plate right there? A pile of deep fried spaghetti or Medusa's hair. I don't know with me her eating habits have gotten worse i tried to tell her that she shouldn't what are you doing what are you rubbing country crock on the top of the bread <laughs> what are we doing don't be country crocking up the top of the bread what are you doing neat like she does okay maybe i spoke too soon how much you want what in the heck what even was that more than that more than that he's like you want some more than that he just drops the plate and lets it shatter all over the floor. And he's like, pick it up. And she's like, what? I'm not an animal. He's like, I said, pick it up. Sorry. <laughs> I said, pick it up. Lord. Yes. Is that enough? Yeah, it's good for now. It's good for now. Good for now. Oh, so you're going to want more in a minute. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What's that on your shirt? Yeah, of course, I'm going to want a little bit more later. Wait, what? What's that on my shirt? I don't know, why don't I just go ahead and slowly look down at it? Uh, don't you ever tell me what a serving size is! Looks like it's shepherd's pie and a whole lot of it. Oh... Was it now? Or was it cottage pie, which is the beef variant of shepherd's pie that somebody in the comments taught me? Thank you. It also looks like we've got some type of bread too. What even is all of that? All I see is the color beige. I don't even know what it is. Is it bread? Is it a tortilla? Is it hot cross buns? Because carbs are fun. Yeah, it looks like they're having nothing but carbs. Carbs on top of their carbs with the side of carbs. Hey, Zach, can you come get this plate? Hey, Zach, can you bring me some mac and cheese with all this bread? Can I have some pizza on the side? Then maybe some spaghetti? 
And then maybe the pasta bread bowl. You know, I thought I would switch it up a little bit, have a little bit of carbohydrates. Tiny Lynn clears her plate, but she's not done for the night, far from- There's a big old box fan blowing right into your face. Yep, I know that. I know that story. I would actually have the air conditioner unit off on the side there, and I would have a fan blowing the cold air from the AC into my face. That's a pro tip for all of you. Dude, how many fans do they have in their house, do you wonder? That's I just snack on things all day long. Oh. I can't imagine snacking after eating that big of a dinner. So let's see what she goes after. But I know. Is that those little chocolate chip cookies? You get those out of the bed. Oh, I'm eating myself to death. Were those gummy worms? Get those out of the bed. Although they're not as crummy. What the heck? What was that? I know. I'm eating myself to death. Some sort of fruity, perhaps gummy-ish sort of candy. Okay. My weight is out of control. Gummy worms. Gummy worms? Are those gummy fish? Ah, a delicacy. I haven't been grocery shopping by myself without another adult with me in a good 10 years or more. Dang. You've needed assistance to go grocery shopping for the past 10 years. Dude, I would feel too guilty about that. I feel guilty when people have to help me do anything. Even if I paid you for the service, for some reason I feel guilty. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Sorry you had to do that. And the guy's like, what? It's my job. You paid me to do this service, sir. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the oil in my car got all dirty and now you got to change it, man. My bad. I was out there driving and stuff, so... Sorry, dude. Now, credit where credit's due, Tammy Lynn is one of the show's bigger success stories. And That's good. I hope she did turn it around, dude. You got yourself a son there. Turn it around. Take care of your son. Let's go. You could see just how much she's improved by the end of the episode. And that's been an unexpected surprise. That's been wonderful. Well, that's good, dude. Hell yeah. What's that? It would, that would be grapefruit, dude. Oh, okay. This boy is just learning what a grapefruit is for the first time. Did you hear that? He's like, what is that? She's like, that's a grapefruit, Zachary. Mom, what the hell is this weird, squishy, round, fruity smelling thing? What the hell is this? An orange. That's called an orange. Yeah, it's 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 known as fruit. Fruit. Yeah, it's that flavor that all that candy is modeled after. <laughs> I am very proud of my mom's progress. You gonna get me some veggie broth? Dude, you guys better get the heck out of the spaghetti sauce aisle. Hold on. You're very proud of her progress, so let's go down this aisle. This isn't the aisle that you need. What you need are the aisles on the outside of the store where the fresh produce and other stuff like that are located. Typically in most grocery stores, all the fresh produce and the meat and the dairy and all that type of stuff are all the way on the outside of the store and all of the inner shelves are all of the highly processed garbage. Not always, but that's typically the layout. She's literally in like the canned sauce and pre-made pasta aisle. Like look over here on the left, we've got all of this like pastas and whatnot. All of these are probably bags of rice and beans here too, so that's fine. That's a staple you could get in your house and have some. But up here we have like pre-made cornbread mix and stuff probably. You don't need that. Much progress. You wanna get me some veggie broth? She really did work hard to improve herself and moments like this are really what the show is all about. And that's about all we have time for today. What was your favorite scene? I love how Tammy Lynn turned it around at the end there. But my favorite scene was earlier when that couple was waiting to get some fast food and that chick started doing her little happy dance for a second. She was like, I don't think that she meant for that to be caught on camera and she didn't really lean into it. She just kind of instinctively started to do it and then like stop. She's like, crap, people are around. What do you think was the craziest scene from today's video? Let me know in a comment below. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Please click the like button. One like equals one mustache Komen. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.